I got my two senior leaders here, Kat Bell, Haley Eckerman. Congrats. Congrats, Kat. Thanks. Thanks so much. Haley, obviously a big moment. We just heard Coach <laughs> Elliott talk about that was probably the best swing that you had your senior season. I know you said afterwards to Maria Taylor, you kind of used to use that shot and you brought it back out. Why did you bring it back out for that time? Uh, I think the biggest thing is they were triple blocking me the whole entire game and the libero was digging up everything. I was trying to swing and she'd get some passes and she wouldn't and that last play, she the outside didn't block. And so I kind of saw that, and I saw her pull off, and so I kind of just went up and swung and just tried to end the play right away. Yeah, an amazing swing. The defense was also good. Kat, you had four blocks. The team had 13. You guys, it seems like every match, it's a block party. Why are you guys so good defensively? Um, I just, just a relationship with Molly McCage, um, just trusting each other and trusting the system and trusting what Eric is telling us on the bench and just always feeling the vibe for sure. You guys were tied at intermission as we take a look at some of the blocks and the defense was certainly there, but UNC gave you guys a really good fight. You guys certainly said that afterwards, but being tied at a set apiece heading into intermission, Haley, what was said? I think the biggest thing is to just remain calm and that we knew they were going to be a tough team and we knew they weren't going to give up, but we had to play with heart and we had to show that we wanted to win that game. Now, you had a lot of family members there and friends there, which really helped the Texas crowd, but you guys are pretty much Texas, and if you're not rooting for Texas, you're probably rooting against them. Kat, you tweeted out that the, the fans <laughs> certainly had some fun with you guys saying, you guys talk some noise. When they were, whenever they're getting on you, how does that feed your emotion? It feeds me just amazingly. I love it. Um, get a little bit of, of a stare down a little bit. And, oh, really? You know, always. And um, <laughs> it makes the team more hype. Everybody gets kind of catches the vibe and stuff like that. So, so I mean, it gets to me. So you just pick a fan out and it's like stare down time? Well, it's just like, you see me, I see you. Let's go. Like, let's get this team right here. Like, I got you. Like Haley, I know you're kind of the mom of the team. Do you have to, <laughs> you have to control this, make sure it doesn't go too far? Yeah. <laughs> Coming off the bench, I'm like, chill out, chill out, just, just chill a little bit, bring it back in. And I think it helps our team. It gets us more pumped up, and it gets us kind of that little fire under our tail to kind of like go. And you heard Jared say final four, third time now, you guys in your career, you're heading to the semifinal. I know, it's just amazing, and you guys, we're going to get into kind of what's next for y'all. But, Haley, how can that experience help this team out this weekend? I think it's big for us um, because we've gone in every year knowing that, okay, we can't take a team lightly. And... Um, each year has been a different year and it's been a different team and we know that as seniors we know how to kind of control the emotions of the the court and we know how to handle taking big swings. Um, both of us showed kind of that we can come in and be big when we need to be. You know, Jared has kind of talked about the last year's loss to Wisconsin in the semifinals that maybe you guys were looking a little bit mm -hmm. ahead. Kat, is that something you can learn from and um, make sure this weekend that doesn't happen? Oh, for sure. Just coming in and BYU being an unranked team as well as Wisconsin. I feel like we look too far ahead to the championship match. Um, but for sure, just coming in as practice for the same far as like 2012. Where everybody's coming calm and steady and ready for the road. BYU, we talked about block party. BYU, they're pretty Pretty good with blocks going up against your guys hitting. What kind of challenge are they going to pose, Haley? Um, well, they have a girl who's 6'7", so uh, depending if it's Amy or I up there um, with her blocking us, it'll kind of make us decide, kind of make a decision on what we need to hit. And um, we haven't really watched much film of them to kind of know what their defense is, things like that. We just kind of started picking up on the scouting report today in practice. Okay. So it's just kind of going out there, and that's what volleyball is about, is just learning right there at the moment and f trying to figure it out how to win. Talking to both of you before we uh, did this segment here, it's just, Kat, I could see both you and Haley thinking, this is, this is about to be over yeah. with. You know, I mean, has it sunk in that, that your career either way is about to be done at Texas? Um, just a minute ago, Haley mentioned about us wearing our last time wearing our jersey, and that kind of hit me kind of hard, and I was like, well... I haven't thought that far ahead yet, and it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be sad. It's gonna be a very emotional moment for both of us. I feel like, but I mean, you got no day. sleep last night, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I was up thinking about it because at the Gregory game, of course, we were emotional, but we knew like, okay, well, we still have time to play. We still have games to play left. Where this is, when we're done, we're done. We're not putting that Texas jersey on. We're not playing with these girls again. Uh, we won't be teammates again, hopefully. Um, you know, <laughs> never know down the line. Overseas, we might, right. but like that will never be the same team. And so it just kind of crazy how fast it's come um, and how quick it's come up to this day. I always have fun with you guys and joke around, but you guys are true class acts. No, don't worry, I'm not gonna, she's always like, what are you gonna bring out? What, what do you have? No, no surprises here, although we do have a little bit of surprise because we're gonna miss your game on the court, both of you, but we're also gonna miss some of the pranks that especially she likes to pull, including this one in Minnesota. <laughs> Cat Bill here. I'm gonna try to set up the GoPro to where I can scare Molly McKay, she's my roommate, when she comes to the room. So, let's see how it works out. Try this again. 
take two. Getting Cat McCoy. Hello? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Scaring my cage. Take two. You know, that maniacal laugh that when you saw her get scared like that, you just, you ate that up, didn't you? <laughs> that was hilarious. I think that her scream, like when her screaming made me just, I just couldn't help but to laugh at her. I couldn't scream at all. <laughs> now, Haley, is this something that you guys are, expect from Kat? Yes. Um, Kat's <laughs> like the little sister that likes to like do pranks like that. And so it's definitely not expected or unexpected from her. Um, I was in the room next door and didn't know she was doing this, but heard Molly scream um, out in the hallway and didn't know what, but I figured Kat had did something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To somehow on. Kat was involved. Yeah. Uh, you guys are legends, no matter what happens the rest of the way, but I know y'all want to finish it off. Kat, you said we really have no choice. Yeah. Ladies, good luck. You've been really been fun to watch this year. Thank you so much. Thank you.